Hi, in this core maths primary video we're going to look at line graphs. A line graph shows how something changes over time. Along the x-axis or along the horizontal axis will be some measurement of time, whether it's day of the week, time of the day, month of the year, the actual year, whatever. And along the vertical axis, the, uh, the y-axis, the one going up, will be whatever's being looked at. So in this example it's the number of books sold in a shop. So here's a question. It says the line graph shows how many books are sold in a shop. So we've got each day of the week, Monday, well, some of the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And going up vertically, we've got the number of books sold. Um, and let's answer some questions on it now and see what sort of typical questions you might be asked on a line graphs question. So the first question says, on which day of the week? was the most number of books sold. So um, if we have a look, uh, we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. The highest point, the highest number of books sold was on Wednesday and there was 18 books sold. And the question says on which day of the week was the most number of books sold? Well, that's going to be Wednesday. Because again, that's the highest point on the, on the line graph. Okay, the next question says, how many books were sold on Tuesday? So if we go to Tuesday, up and across, we can see that 14 books were sold on Tuesday. So 14 books were sold on Tuesday. That's it. Let's have a look at the next question. The next question says, on which day of the week was the least number of books sold? So the lowest point of the graph was on Friday, which was six books. But the question says, on which day of the week? So that's going to be Friday. And the next question says, how many books were sold on Thursday? So if we go to Thursday, up and across, we've got this number here. Well, just below it is 10, just above it is 12, and it's halfway between them. So that's going to be 11. So 11 books were sold on Thursday. And it's very important we know what we're going up in. So we're going up in twos, and it was halfway between 10 and 12. So that's going to be 11 books. Okay, our next question. So this question now says, the line graph shows how many people live in a village. So we've got the population. Population is another word for the number of people that live somewhere. And going along horizontally, we've got the year, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Okay, the first question says, how many people lived in the village in 2015? So if we go to 2015, up and across, we can see that 250 people live in the village in 2015. And the next question says, between which two years did the population stay the same? So we're looking for when it stays the same. Now in a line graph, if you're looking for something staying the same, you're looking for a horizontal line, a line going straight across. And as you can see, in 2016 and 2017, the line joining of them is, is flat, it's horizontal. And as you can see, the population is 300 in 2016, and it's 300 in 2017. So between which two years did the population stay the same? Well, that would be 2016 and... 2017 and that's it. 